Unit Five, the media. Two, listen and read. Pages forty and forty-one. The media. A. Before newspapers were invented, town criers would go through city streets ringing a bell. They shouted the latest news as they were walking. B. In Vietnam, people love reading newspapers and magazines. The Kien Tuc Ngai Ngai is one of the most popular magazines and is widely read by both teenagers and adults. C. Thanks to television, people can get the latest information and enjoy interesting programs in an inexpensive and convenient way. Nowadays, viewers can watch a variety of local and international programs on different channels. D. The next stage in the development of television is interactive TV. Viewers are able to ask questions about the show. By using their remote controls. The media. A. Before newspapers were invented, town criers would go through the city streets ringing a bell. They shouted the latest news as they were walking. B. In Vietnam, people love reading newspapers and magazines. The Kien Thuc Ngai Ngai is one of the most popular magazines and is widely read by both teenagers and adults. C. Thanks to television, people can get the latest information and enjoy interesting programs in an inexpensive and convenient way. Nowadays, viewers can watch a variety of local and international programs. On different channels. D. The next stage in the development of television is interactive TV. Viewers are able to ask questions about the show by using their remote controls. Unit Five, the media. Five, read pages forty-three and forty-four. Read the forum on the internet. The internet posted by Jim Hello on Tuesday, 10 December 2002, at 9:07 p.m. The internet has increasingly developed and become part of our everyday life. Do you find the internet useful? What do you use the internet for? How much time do you spend surfing the web a day? Please respond to these questions. Forum. Response number one: Re. The internet. Posted by Sandra Morgan. In my opinion, the internet is a very fast and convenient way for me to get information. I can also communicate with my friends and relatives by means of email or chatting. However, I don't use the internet very often. Because I don't have much time. For me, the internet is a wonderful invention of modern life. It makes our world a small village. Response number two: Re, the internet, posted by Hong Hua. Nobody can deny the benefits of the internet in our life. However, it is a pity for me as well. As for most of my friends in the countryside, the internet is available only in cities. Therefore, I cannot easily get access to it. I sometimes visit my uncle in the city on weekends, and this is a good occasion for me to explore the net. I spend most of the time wandering because I just don't know which website is useful for me. Response number three: Re. The internet, posted by Huan Sui. People use the internet for many purposes: education, communication, entertainment, and commerce. However, the internet has limitations. It is not only time-consuming and costly, but also dangerous because of viruses and bad programs. Moreover, internet users 
sometimes have to suffer various risks, such as spam or electronic junk mail and personal information leaking. So, while enjoying surfing, be alert. Read the forum on the Internet. The Internet posted by Jim Hello on Tuesday, 10 December 2002 at 9.07 p.m. The Internet has increasingly developed and become part of our everyday life. Do you find the Internet useful? What do you use the Internet for? How much time do you spend surfing the web a day? Please respond to these questions. Response number one regarding the Internet Posted by Sandra Morgan In my opinion, the Internet is a very fast and convenient way for me to get information. I can also communicate with my friends and relatives by means of emailing or chatting. However, I don't use the Internet very often because I don't have much time. For me, the Internet is a wonderful invention of modern life. It makes our world a small village. Response number two regarding the Internet. Posted by Home Hua. Nobody can deny the benefits of the Internet in our life. However, it is a pity for me as well as for most of my friends in the countryside. The Internet is available only in cities, therefore I cannot easily get access to it. I sometimes visit my uncle in the city on weekends, and this is a good occasion for me to explore the net. I spend most of the time wandering because I don't know which website is useful for me. Response number three regarding the Internet. Posted by Juan Sui. People use the Internet for many purposes. Education, communication, entertainment, and commerce. However, the Internet has limitations. It is not only time-consuming and costly, but also dangerous because of viruses and bad programs. Moreover, Internet users sometimes have to suffer various risks, such as spam or electronic junk mail and personal information leaking. So, while enjoying surfing, be alert. Unit 5. The Media. 4. Listen. Page 42. Listen to a conversation between Chow and his father. Fill in the table with the information you hear. Dad, I'm doing an assignment. Can you help me with the information? What is the assignment about? Uh, it's about the important dates of the media. Where and when did the first printed newspaper appear, Dad? It first appeared in the 7th or 8th century A.D. in China. And when was the telegraph invented? Perhaps it was in the late 19th century. Do you know what two new forms of news media appeared in the early 20th century? Radio and newsreels. Excellent! And when did television become commercially viable? Can you guess? In the 1940s? No, it was in the 1950s. When did the Internet become a major force in journalism? In the mid and late 1990s. I thank you, Dad. Now I can answer all the questions for my assignment. Dad, I'm doing an assignment. Can you help me with the information? What is the assignment about? It's about the important dates of the media. Where and when did the first printed newspaper appear, Dad? It first appeared in the 7th or 8th century A.D. in China. And when was the telegraph invented? Perhaps it was in the late 19th century. Do you know what two new forms of the news media appeared in the early 20th century? Radio and newsreels? 
Excellent. And when did television become commercially viable? Can you guess? In the 1940s? No, it was in the 1950s. When did the Internet become a major force in journalism? In the mid and late 1990s. Thank you, Dad. Now I can answer all the questions for my assignment. You like watching sports, don't you, Trum? Not really. Some sports are so violent, and I don't like watching them. I prefer documentaries. I'm the opposite. I love watching sports, and documentaries seem quite boring to me. But you watch the news, don't you? Yes, every day. It's very informative. I enjoy it, too. You don't like foreign films, do you? No, I don't. You like watching sports, don't you, Trum? Not really. Some sports are so violent. And I don't like watching them. I prefer documentaries. I'm the opposite. I love watching sports, and documentaries seem quite boring to me. But you watch the news, don't you? Yes, every day. It's very informative. I enjoy it, too. You don't like foreign films, do you? No, I don't. You like watching sports, don't you, Trum? Not really. Some sports are so violent. And I don't like watching them. I prefer documentaries. I'm the opposite. I love watching sports, and documentaries seem quite boring to me. But you watch the news, don't you? Yes, every day. It's very informative. I enjoy it, too. You don't like foreign films, do you? No, I don't.